Good morning, families. Today we are going to make a wet felted egg. And um, so you're going to learn about how to wet felt and you can extend this into all kinds of places um, in your curriculum. And you're also going to make something. So it's a little bit time sensitive. It's something that we ordinarily would do um, right before our big Easter egg hunt up in the garden. Um, so it's, if you celebrate Easter, it's an option for um, creating something that then can be a part of an Easter basket. And if you don't celebrate Easter, it is just a lovely, beautiful thing that you can hide treasures inside of. So what you need, um, I gave you an egg, a wooden egg. This is a wooden egg that I'm going to use. It's much bigger than your wooden egg. You need your felt, your, uh, your wool that you were going to felt. So I think I gave each of you about three hands full of wool. You need a uh, color. So this is yarn that I provided you with and grab a few more things. You need a bit of soap, something that, um, you know, you don't mind your kids having their hands in for a little while. Uh, hot water, this is a hot water pot. And um, I like to use like a jelly roll tray just to keep the water inside um, to do your felting. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make a bed. That's what I think of it as. Just tease apart your wool felting so that it's sort of wispy. A little bit wispy and then you're going to put your next chunk of wool felt so that it's um, perpendicular to the lines that you created in the first one so if your first one is laying there horizontally then layer this one on top of it vertically so that they each have a direction they go in and then the next pieces of wool like, and this is, this is, you don't need to do this. Your children need to do this. So just to be clear, once again, everything that I'm doing is something I would do with your children in class. I would show them, but they're doing the work. So please don't do the work for your kids. This is what kindergarten is. They do it themselves. So we create things that they can do themselves. So. What we work on with this is wisping. Seriously, wisping is an activity. Lots of kids will go, done. You know, and they have these big chunks of wool. Nah, 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 nah. Wispy wisps, like cobwebs. You can see through them. They're so thin. They're so delicate. And it also makes it a lot easier to do the work once it comes to the felting, so. Wisp your wool, as wispy as wispy can be. And you're making essentially like a mat that will be approximately round and fluffy. Okay, so now that you've got your, it's like a little nest of wool. What you're going to do is you're going to take your egg and you're going to wrap it up inside of this and essentially close it up and you're going to add some color to the outside. So I've given you a variety of um, yarns and you can, if you want, you can just throw the yarn on the outside. I don't think it'll felt very well. Wool um, has these little fibers that need to sort of tangle with the other wool fibers. So what I thought you would do with them is just uh, essentially tease apart the yarn and start wisping the outside of your egg. It's okay if it goes on the inside accidentally, that's no big deal. Um, you can do all kinds of fun things with these eggs. You can, uh, if, if you get really good at this, you can um, make the inside a different color than the outside, because um, you'll see in a while that we are eventually going to open the egg up and you'll be able to see both the inside and the outside. So 
You can do all kinds of things with these eggs, but um, including making like a solid mat of color on the outside if you have a bunch of color to choose from. Um, anyways, just keep on decorating the outside of the egg. And again, this is where you get a little glimpse into your child. Like, are they patient enough to wisp it? Or do they just want to be done with it? Do they, are they registering um, how lovely the colors are? Do they have an opinion on colors? Do their colors seem to go together? Or do they just grab the first color that's available to them? So all these give you a little glimpse just sort of into the personality of your child and how they, how they settle into an activity. So, yeah, I'll just call that done. Doesn't, it's perfectly fine. So next step is the actual wet, wet felting. Okay, for this part, roll up your sleeves. We are rolling up our sleeves. We are rolling up our sleeves. It might do to have a towel on hand to just dry your hands off. It's a wet process. So you've got your little nest here. I just, you can, you can do this in any number of ways. Just using a little bit of a drizzle, just put the tiniest drizzle of soap on the outside and then set your uh, egg in your tray because you're going to pour hot, hot water on it. So this is the part that parents really need to step in and do. Don't let your child handle the hot water pot. Um, and you assess when it is cool enough for your child to take on the work, okay? Now, the work is essentially just squeezing and turning, squeezing and turning. It's a process that some children, this is the amazing part of it, some children will totally get this and um, their egg is felted in three minutes. Other children, literally this will take two days for it to become wet felted. It depends on the wool, it depends on the soap, it depends on the temperature of the water, and it really depends somehow on the operator. So wool gets felted by heat and by friction and pressure. And um, so you can see it's like a little bit soapy, but not really. I'm gonna add a tiny bit to the other side where I didn't have much soap. So that it's sort of, it's just sort of nice to stand here and round and round it goes. It's quite wrinkly, doesn't look like much. Now you don't want to rub it too much initially. I just say go round and round, just go round and round and round. The little bits of uh, water are gonna come flying off. You know, it's a great outside activity because soapy water is going to go everywhere. Um, but yeah, you just go round and round and round and round. That's it. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, so by now, your egg might be ready. If it looks like there's no opening, like you've wet felted closed, the part that was open before, then you can go ahead and start to gently rub it. And that will make the uh, felt happen harder and faster. Do, so again, like help your child. See if there's an open spot that needs working because um, there's just nothing more tragic than a, than a wet felted egg that doesn't come together. <laughs> you can usually fix it, but um, see if you can really do the work gently and slowly at first and then you can start to apply some pressure so once you get to the rubbing stage you can use surfaces so i happen to have a wet felting mat that has these little ridges on it you can use bubble wrap um, anything it, it's quite indestructible as long as you've closed up that that section that was open it's quite indestructible and um, so it might feel still like there's like a loose skin on the outside of the egg. So what we're going for is completely tight all around so that um, 
it feels like the egg is just solid wool felt. Okay, so at this point, you should probably have an egg that looks pretty, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. Now, you might find that there's some little sections that are sort of um, like sheets that are coming off, like this little doohickey here. So I'm just gonna take scissors and cut that off. As long as it's not a critical part of the egg and is like important for the structure of the egg, just cut it off. And if you feel like it's your egg is pretty much done, then let it be done. Um, so again, you want it to be a hard felt. You don't want a soft, fluffy egg. Your child can keep on working on it until it's a hard felt. If it takes two days, that's fine. Um, so now I'm just going to rinse this thing in a whole lot of hot water. Rinse, 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 so that we just get all the soap out. And I like using hot, 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 hot water just to make sure that whatever needs to felt has a chance to now. One last little squeeze, and then rinse it in cold water. Squeeze all the water out of it that you can. Wrap it in a towel, squeeze, 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 and then let it dry. Okay, the moment of truth. Your egg is dry. Actually, my egg is not dry, but I was too impatient to wait. Um, but it's good for your kids to wait. Let them wait. Wait for a little bit. See if you can figure out which is the, um, the small end, and that's where you're gonna make a cut. I can't really tell because this is a egg that actually my son made in woodworking probably in seventh grade or so because I forgot to get an egg yesterday when I was making all of your children's packages so good thing I had a wooden egg at home already so all you need to do you can use a razor blade you can this is you know again this is something for the adult to do um, make a cut cut the wool ah that you just spent so much time carefully Felting. Now you're going to cut through it. Nice straight cut right across the top. See how that goes. This is your terrible scissors. Uh, so razor blades like a really sharp one in a um, oh what are those things called? The thing that holds the razor blade so it's safe. Those are really nice to work with actually. Um, Make a nice little cut. It's coming, it's coming across the top. Like maybe a inch and a half, two inch cut. The idea is you're going to take the egg out. The egg will not stay in there. You're gonna put something else in there. What could you put in there? Okay, I've ended up, you can, cut like four, you know, two directions. So it looks like that. And then cut far enough, like don't overcut it because then it's not gonna contain anything, but cut just enough that you can get that egg out. And then what you wanna do is, mine is still wet because I didn't wait long enough. So go ahead and let it dry and let it dry with a little bit of, um, form to it and you have yourself a wet felted Easter egg. Now, um, usually I would put a little bit of green wool inside. Um, you can use, if you have like Easter egg grass, you can put Easter egg grass inside. Um, if there's a little figure that you can felt or you have around the house, like a little chick or a little bunny, or a little ducky. That's a nice thing to find inside. There is your wet felted Easter egg.